Alright, hello everybody, this is Kasumi's Man, and this will be my second time commentating on this video because I had a copyright claim due to some Disney bullshit, whatever. YouTube's dumb. You know the whole deal with copyright and all that gay stuff. So, <laughs> what I'm doing here is starting out with the uh, crotch area and the pelvis of the female. And basically making the body face towards the right. And I'm drawing the hips and the legs. <coughs> I don't exactly remember what I said the first time around, so I'm just going to explain what's happening. <coughs> uh, I remember that after I do get the sketch done, I will uh, start to draw the inner skeleton. And then I'll ex probably explain how that works out. So. Uh, these arrows. What I'm, what I was trying to say is that the the arrow that the, the is pointing at the leg. Um, I was just saying that it was higher than the the one behind it, which is just facing straight down, more vertical. And uh, in the audio that I had before, there was like constant tapping, and uh, it was really annoying. <clears throat> and I don't know how it got there anyway, so I figured that I would either redo the whole video or re record the audio. So I guess the whole copyright claim thing made me do the re commentary. So. So uh, when, I, when I drew those two circles in the slanted line, I was explaining that the outer uh, bone of the ankle is actually higher than the inner. I don't really care to explain much about the feet because it's not the main focus of the video. <coughs> I think uh, right now I'll start to draw the uh, inner skeleton, I believe. And I'm going to draw two circles in here in a bit. And that will explain uh, where the hips are, so why those uh, lumps are there. And the, above the uh, crotch area, those circles, those would be the hip bones. And I draw, go ahead and draw the. Uh, the pelvis area and the inner even though it's not 100% perfect or accurate but I was saying that as long as you know what's where inside the inner body it's, uh, it's perfectly fine So now I'm going to draw a female that's facing towards the opposite direction, and uh, I'll I'll be a while because I start out drawing the crotch area again, and I'm trying to mirror the exact same uh, uh, sketch, I guess. So, oh, that will be a, a couple of minutes. <coughs> I think uh, my favorite sketch that I did in this 
video is probably the side profile. So that will come later. So probably around the uh, 15 to 20 minute mark. <coughs> This video is 34, 33 minutes long, something like that. Alright, finally we're going to just go ahead and go to the drawing and stop caring about getting everything perfect. So I'm drawing this hips again, the hip bones. Um, in, a, in a bit you'll see, me, right now I'm explaining uh, where the widest part of the hips are is near the crotch area. That some artist thinks it's near the hip bones there when I drew that line. Then I was explaining that if I drew these uh, a little bit out, out more, it would just look wrong. So. <coughs> so if you see me um, <coughs> tilt the uh, drawing a little bit to the left, is because I wasn't really happy with how the drawing was coming out and I wanted to make the torso a little bit curved or arched This is where I drew the example how I wanted the torso somewhat curved. So here we go. I'm going to tilt the drawing. This middle line is for the uh, to find the belly button, and then I was making uh, two lines that sort of uh, intersect with each other uh, to find the belly button, except it wouldn't be at where the the lines uh, actually stop to intersect with one another because we're at a quarter view somewhat. So that's where I drew the circle, where not to put it, but rather where the the middle line is. So then I thought that I should adjust it a little bit lower because that was too high for a belly button. So. I kind of do the same thing, but like with the crisscross uh, type of thing with the finding the bottom of the rib cage.
So here's us crossing lines. It's basically an axe. Alright, so I'm done with this drawing, I believe. And I think that the next one will be sort of like a more uh, skeleton based drawing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this part because, I don't know, I just don't really feel like explaining it. Uh, the, the whole thing is pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you know where everything is in the body, uh, you'll know what to draw. You can uh, kind of study that on your own time when it comes to using you know, Google Images or something similar. So yeah, I'll be back after the drawing is finished. All right, we're back, and what I'm doing here is just uh, resizing the drawing so I can have some more room. I think uh, <coughs> about here I will start to do the side profile, which I said earlier is my uh, favorite one out of all of them. So. I, I did actually end up saving this drawing, but I don't really know if I should upload it to DeviantArt because it wasn't uh, taken too seriously and uh, all the sketches are really light and they're not very detailed except for the, the bone anatomy one. So, But even then uh, the details aren't sharp and crisp. So this circle that I do here is to explain like where the part of the stomach sort of bends to the crotch area and that area that actually bends is where like uh, girls have their uh, top of their pants or something like where their their button 
pants uh, starts whether pants jeans or shorts whatever it be so then you have this sort of curving in and the actual belly would be flat most most of the time it is and then you have your rib cages And this would start the part of the leg. And then for the ribcage, I'm just like drawing half of an oval. And this connects to the back. And then you have your, your buttocks there with along that connects to the uh the hip bones. <coughs> so I guess a good way of thinking about it is that you have one oval over another pretty much. I just get down to the calf here and then go on to the next drawing. <clears throat> so that's our side profile. All this uh, zooming in now, I was just like thinking, what should I draw next? So, um, eventually I get to the idea that I should do a, uh, something that I'm not really the best at, which is drawing the, uh, the rear profile of a female, including the back and, uh, the butt, the legs. All that good stuff, so. And the thing is, is that I don't really study the back of a uh, female or male. Which is a personal problem with mine, so. But I, I do remember what it would look like if I really tried to imagine it, so. <coughs> so I start with the. Uh, a line down the middle to divide them back in two and then I drew the, draw the rib cases again And let's see, what do I do next? Connecting the back to the um, the hip bones here in a second. Then I do another middle line where the uh, the hip bone is to uh, divide the butt. I actually probably should have drawn two more lines at the bottom of the the back line because uh, females they have those uh, two bumps on the back. I'm not exactly sure what they are, I never really looked into it, so I just know that they're there. And 
and then I go ahead and draw the shoulders, I think. Shoulder blades first. I have no idea what's going on here. So, I'm probably thinking of something else to draw. And I, I think I add something else to this thing that I'm selecting here. But I'm also going to time lapse that um, because it's just a, pretty much a sketch. All I'm doing right now is uh, selecting all so I can get the full size of the picture instead of that selection. Because when you um, when you uh, select or copy a picture outside of Photoshop, um, it'll automatically give you the the resolution dimensions. So I find that like an easier way to do it rather than typing it in manually. So I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse this. It's uh it's just a a girl, you know, putting her arms up, pretty much stretching her body. So I was going for something more like a uh, an Olympic type of female. So I'll time lapse it, and um, with that, I'll say um, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, uh, comment, like, and share. And if you want, go ahead and tell your friends about it. Or if you want, go to my DeviantArt. Um, I'll put that in the description. Also, I'll have my website in the description. And yeah. Uh, sorry about the yawning. I just woke up. So I'll see you guys in another video.